Welcome back. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope you had a great week. Thanks for joining me again. So my question this week is, how many hours are you investing in you? So in 2008, Malcolm Gladwell put out his book, Outliers, in which he stated, it takes 10,000 plus hours to become great at something. In other words, you know, you have to do something 10,000 hours plus to master a skill. And um, recent studies have shown that that's not true anymore because of advances in technology and stuff like that. So that's great news, right? It doesn't take 10,000 hours to master something anymore. But if you think about it, you know, like think about Tiger Woods, Michael Phelps, Serena Williams, any musician, actor, yeah, any of those people, you think of the time they put in to be great, right? So it makes sense. And think about us, like anything we do for a lot, we are going to become really good at or great at. Like our jobs, if you do hair all the time, you know, if you play an instrument, if you play video games, you know, you can become great. So it makes sense. But my question to you is how many hours do you purposely put in in mastering the masterpiece that is you right so if you think about this since birth to age 15 we're going to say um, there is a hundred and thirty one thousand of invest thirty one thousand of invested hours into your life of programming from your parents your religion your culture your education system your friends all of that so there that's up to age 15 so now double it for age 30. That's 262,000 hours of someone, someone else's programming in your brain, okay? But, and I'm not doing the math for age 45 and up. You can do that if you want. And the reason I use 24 hours is because our brains never stop working. So anything that's in your brain, like you learned during the day, it keeps going all night long. It doesn't stop, it doesn't shut off when you go to sleep. So that's why um, it's very important to, you know, be able to be on top of your thinking and stuff like that, but that's another story. But anyway, <clears throat> the beauty is that you can teach an old dog new tricks, but the old dog has to wanna learn new tricks. <laughs> that's the thing. And the beauty of today is that we can learn new tricks right from here, from our cell phones, from our own home. We don't even have to leave. We don't have to go anywhere anymore. So my challenge to you is how can you stretch yourself today? Just a little bit. You know, how can you start looking up something and maybe learn something? Or is there anything inside of you that you've always wanted to, to learn about or anything, a hobby, anything? Because the, the beauty of it is once you start looking up stuff, it leads you to another path, to another path. Maybe a video, maybe a meeting, maybe a hobby or whatever. And the beauty of that is, you know, you can meet new friends. You can have new experiences. Your life is going to grow. You cannot have in life more than what you are. So what that means is if you want bigger and more in life, you have to become bigger and more. And you become bigger and more by stretching yourself, by stretching your knowledge, by stretching your feelings, you know? And the bigger you become in all these things, the more it can come back to you. Nothing can come to you if your closet's full of shit. Sorry to say that, but it's just another, a little analogy. But so start cleaning out your closet, start learning new things. You can, you're not too old. It's only too late when you're dead. And if you're still, if you're watching this, you're not dead yet, obviously. So I'm telling you, it, you can do this. It's, it's what, what do you want to, what do you want to look at? What do you, what do you want to learn? You know, it's not too late. You don't have to master it. I'm not telling you to master it. I'm just telling you to start tweaking your, your curiosity, you know, so you can grow and stretch and your life can grow and stretch. And another thing, you know, if you're single and if you want a person with X, Y, Z qualities, you need to be XYZ qualities. You know, you can't be a hot mess and trying to attract someone with XYZ qualities and you're and you don't have that. You can only attract to the extent that you are. And if you are attracting attracting hot messes, it's because there's stuff off inside of you. 
honestly, because in actuality, we only attract what we are. And those, those experiences happen so that we can grow from them. And that's why we grow and we outgrow those people and we outgrow those circumstances. And that's the beauty of life. So start working on yourself, you know? What, what is the X, Y, Z qualities that you want? And start working towards it. It doesn't take a lot. Start small. And when you start small, like one hour a day or less, whatever, you know, your life will start changing. Honestly, it really is that simple. But you have, you, you, you're not going to be great from the start, but you have to start to be great. That's not a quote for me, but um, it really is true. So I'm challenging you to stretch yourself and I'm te and I want you to be get excited get excited that to know that you can change yourself as often as you want but you have to want to do it stop waiting on pe for people to save you it's not going to happen they're busy trying to save themselves so really start stretching yourself it's not too late so how much time have you invested in other people isn't it time you start investing in yourself all right and I only tell you this because I've done it and I, it's fabulous. I know it works and because I love you guys and I want you to grow and stretch too. It's not too late. It's only too late when you're dead. Okay. <laughs> I love you. All right. Um, prayers to all my family and friends. Prayers to the first responders out there, honestly. And um, I wish you guys well. And some wise words from Buddha is that no matter how hard the past, you can always begin again. Alright, love you guys. Bye. See you next week.